But also, uh, what I don't really like about this game is like everything could be avoided if uh, Jimmy just beats up Gary right now. Literally, right after he did the thing where uh, I don't like you. I know you're talking shit behind my back. Here's the big uh, bully guy. He's gonna beat you up. Literally, we just solved everything and just beat Gary's ass. I forget that guy's name too, but I also kind of like him, even though he's kind of a bitch. Your team, your your second guy, your uh, PD. Yeah, your uh. Yeah, I like PD. Lawyer from Vice City. Your Rosenberg. Yeah, I liked Rosenberg. I Same. also like how they brought him back in uh, San Andreas. He is probably one of my favorite characters from Vice City. I love Rosenberg. Characters who are bitches are an underrated trope. I agree. Especially in like action movies or something. Like characters who are bitches are great. Uh, I also kind of like the characters that are bitches, but they have the slight growth, and they actually, like, after bitching out a hundred times, they actually do the thing. Usopp. Usopp. He is, like, the fucking, like, token, like, fucking, like, poster child character for that fucking role. God, Usopp. Do you remember, uh, racing bikes down at the canal? What? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> making up memories. <laughs> yeah. Robert can't ride a bike, so. Yeah, that doesn't really. That kind of falls flat with me, sorry. My bike was stolen once. I don't know if I brought this up ever before, but my bike was stolen once. I had a BMX bike. Um, and the. Uh, my mom called the cops and made a report and all that because it was like a. I don't know, hundred dollar, two hundred dollar bike. Be a max, yeah, those are nicer ones. Um, came with spokes and everything, just automatically. Uh, Turns out it was my cousin. <laughs> no, like a week later they found it. Yeah. Uh, the guy who stole it. I'm sorry that I'm uhing a lot. I don't know why. I'm just my brain is like slowly turning on and off. <laughs> check engine light is on <laughs> yeah but the guy uh who stole it tried to ramp like a homemade ramp to like do bmx and uh fucked up his teeth on the spokes not the spokes but the pegs when i got my bike back i was able to uh find a chunk of tooth lodged inside of it well, that's what he gets fucking yeah like that guy it was funny too because uh, the cop seen the bike and was like, that, "That's kind of matches the description." And then uh, later that week, found it in the woods, like right next to that house. We couldn't do anything about it because, oh, that could have been a completely different bike. I'm surprised the cops followed up with you on that though. Me too. Well, Don't get me wrong. Fuck the police. Or whatever That's have you. Obviously. But, well, but sometimes you get the good one and that actually does the job and takes it serious. Yeah. And then nothing's too small. What movie what was movie? What uh what woods was it near? Wow. Good job. Sweet wind. So you know you see me my parents' house? Yes. You know that small patch of woods that's, you know, the highway? Yeah. That small patch of woods that that house is being built into right now? So it was like literally right That man did not get far. <laughs> no. no. It was like a, well, I guess it was a man, but it was like really a 18 year old kid. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. It might just be because. I've called people kids no matter their age since I was young. I don't really consider people adults until like mid 20s. <laughs> until that year's a child. Basically. Like, There's adults I'm not considering. Even kids. now, I'm 28. Yeah. Basically, the exact same I was in high school. I don't know. I mean, I have a better paying job. Smarter. I was smarter in the sense of, uh, 
experience, not smarter in the sense of actual knowledge gain. No, yeah, I'll say you're like more mature, all that garbage. Yeah, somewhat. I still find fart jokes funny. Humor, I feel like, shouldn't factor into maturity. I don't know why people do that. Like, whatever you find funny, you can't control what you find. It's like, when you can't control what you fucking... Fall in love with? Yeah, or like, the fuck. It's like, you, you can't really control your humor. So if you find it funny, you find it funny. I will never not laugh at a good fart joke. Same, and comes hilarious no matter who you are. Uh, tentacles. Mm -hmm. These are things that are just always funny. Hoo, hoo, hoo. The final episode of I'm gonna date this episode. That whatever episode this comes out of, I'm dating it. Yeah. Uh, the final episode of season two of Smiling Friend comes out this tomorrow. This tomorrow. Oh shit! So now you know what day this was recorded. Haha, ha, idiot. I don't know what to do with that information, but now you know. They should make it so you could pick up like uh, I don't know. Thought girls, and make out on the on your mo moped, and get health back like the prostitutes in Grand Theft Auto. I hate you so much. I'm just saying. I know, like I said, they were trying to be safe with this one. So that's kind of shit. I get it, but <laughs> oh fuck! You have to admit it's kind of funny. It would be kind of funny, especially the greasers. I was gonna say like an actual adult, but that'd be weird. Yeah, a little bit. But then again, I did watch Sandlot Kids. It is the Sandlot Kids. Yeah. Then again, I was more. Was that Sandlot Kids? What? Where the guy pretends to drown to make out with the the babe of a lifeguard. I think. To be fair, I guess not a lot of stuff. Too, yeah. yeah. Man, the 90s were wild, even though Sandlot Kids Crazy didn't... Crazy times. That didn't come out until, like, I don't know, 80s? 70s? 80s, I want to say. I don't... When was the Goonies? I think Goonies were 80s. Why is everything go wrong in my life? Dude, I really like old movies. It's probably just nostalgia. There's some movies I enjoy that are old, but some I can just kind of take the leave. But modern day movies just don't hit right sometimes, most of the time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll watch them and I'll find them funny, but like, for whatever the mood is. I think comedy movies are a thing that suffer right now. There's not a good, like, there's no, like, knocked up or anything like that. Are we strictly talking adult <laughs> comedy or. Yeah, like I said, like, not, like, okay. knocked up. Like, we don't really have that for, like. We had the interview. Day. Sausage Party 2's coming out. That's what kind of I mean though. It's like we don't have like this like uh, generation of movies doesn't really have um they're like Seth Rogen or who's like Adam Sandler and shit like that. We have Matt Pete Davis now. He's like not though that any movies are like that. <laughs> that, that, that like, well, I'm just saying level. I don't think he's funny at all, period. No. I do not like him. I say I think if you watch this out, and we talked about this in a previous Foley episode, but if you watch it that kind of like it. I also hate uh, Saturday Night Live. Oh, same. I've never liked it. Everyone should. I liked the Adam Sandler, Chris Farley years ago. Were okay. Yeah, everyone says that. Nope. Yeah, after that, I'm kind of. And before that, I'm kind of good. And I love Adam Sandler. But uh, sloppy, sloppy Joe. It's hilarious. You're crazy. You know what's hilarious is when they like add shitty things into oh, photography. Uh, when they add shitty things in, into kid things that they don't even understand, like uh, I also that episode of Kid Next Door that was just basically a guar music sp spoof. Mm -hmm. We're using the Pantera's music in SpongeBob, which is fucking hilarious. Fuck off. Yeah. Finding out that uh, Bubble Bull was an actual song. Sweet, sweet victory. All 
Are you? Are we, I'm pretty sure we also talked about this on the channel, but I just don't remember. Uh, are you also in the belief that SpongeBob truly ended after the movie? We talked about it before, and yeah, like that is what it's supposed to be. It was not supposed to be. Okay, I, th I, I thought we did, but I just could not remember. Steven Spielberg, even, not Steven Spielberg. Steven. No, yeah, Steven Spielberg. He wrote Hillen SpongeBob. Steven Hillenberg even said, like, everything after the movie is he does not consider canon. I fucking hate the episode with Johnny Depp. I'm sorry. Sam. Big Kahuna, I think his name was. Yeah. Or, or something else. It was big, the Big Kahuna. Oh, that's what I get at Jersey Mike's. Out of the big, like, actors that play now, mainly, like, David Bowie's episode. Probably David Bowie's? Wasn't that a special? Mm -hmm. The Atlantis. That was probably, like, I, when they had big name people, that was probably the best. Also, I hate that they, he, Steve Hilbert said he didn't want to do any spinoffs, and then as soon as that man died. Oh, Patrick Show! <laughs> Patrick Show, Camp, uh, yeah, Camp something. Camp Coral. Mm. Yeah. They, they did Baby Looney Tunes. Which that didn't even succeed. That was fucking Looney Tunes. How would you do that with Spongebob? Dog, I loved Baby Looney Tunes, but I was a child. I don't even, that's not even a... I was a baby. I don't care. Dog, oh, Granny was fucking smoking. You were just a horny child. A horny baby. Here she is. Beautiful. Kevin came out of the womb with a boner. Gross. With your name on it. Well, that's your legacy, all right? They could have killed this guy for Trevor. Yeah, because they were going to be It wasn't like they are going to bring Jimmy back or anything, so they may as well have. It would have had, like, the same impact. Obviously, it would have been a doll at the time. Just haven't killed James Earl Cash. I wouldn't fuck with Trevor. <laughs> yeah, that would have actually been scary if he would have fucking killed James Earl Cash. Like, you know what? Maybe leave this man alone. Set it up with, like, the dude's at the bar and he does something. Another other thing I hate, too, is they made them seem like they were just dumb meth heads. So people who didn't play Lost in the Damned would just be like, oh, he just killed some meth heads. It's like, I don't know, I don't know what. I don't like Rockstar hates their own games. That's, that's the biggest weird. I actually do not like Five. We, I've talked about this before. I like Franklin, but that's kind of it. <sighs> Story sucks. I liked Michael, but he's a bitch. Yeah, you know, it's like there's no character I really empathize with. Yeah. The reason Mi Michael is the cause of the entire story. Like he's a cuck. His fault. Yeah. You just got fucking whipped. I did. Yeah, fuck Michael. Like, even more than Trevor. I hate Trevor because he's annoying at Lord, but fuck Michael. Hate Trevor, hate Michael, hate, uh... Third guy. Franklin's okay. I don't mind. But it's just, he's just kind of boring, though. He's boring. He's just kind of guy who's good And comedy. he's like, bad ending, um. What's it called? Hmm. Uh, the one you like. Oh, San Andreas. Yeah. Bad ending San Andreas. Where, uh, from my understanding, again, never really got too much in it. Yeah. Where, uh,. That guy, Frank, no. Uh, CJ. CJ uh, comes back and gains family. He's all like, fuck those guys. I'm going to try to make it big myself. Mm. And he cuts people out of his life. It is, yeah, it is kind of, it's like they just try to copy paste the story. But in a different way. Oh, wait, 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 way less interesting and told, well told way. <laughs> the nerd. Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? She kind of looks like, uh, totally I was going to say the nerd from Big Bang Theory, but they're all nerds. The, the, uh, the one that's with Howard. No, because that's the supposed hot one. The one that's with, uh, what the fuck his name is, uh, Cuther Polly? Is that his last yeah, name? Yeah, but he's has some girlfriend, I don't know which one. Is it Raj? Raj, yeah, it's Raj. No, it's the other one then. Um, yeah, it's Howard. Howard? Yeah, Howard. Yeah, because Leonard, Leonard's with one as everyone thinks oh. he's Penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howard. Then yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. What the fuck is her name? Bernadette? Yes. A little bit, yeah. Like a, like a tall version. I'm, I think they even had the same classes. I wonder if they kind of modeled her after. 
I don't know because I can't. Okay. No, not her. Modeled uh, Bernadette, oh, Bernadette after her. Like Beatrice. That is possible. Also, because you got to think, I'm uh, I'm assuming that game, uh, that game, that that show was made by actual nerds. Oh yeah. It, it just seems like a power fantasy. A hundred percent. And it's so funny and to me that their power fantasy is I got babe. Yeah. And it's like fucking. It's like the worst kind of nerds too. Like I hate the game theory. Which sucks because like the first season I thought was like decent and was like all right for what I was trying to go for and it. They're just like, well, everyone just likes us because haha, ha, nerd be weird. Just do that over and over again. Also, Sheldon is now a person that you couldn't imagine possibly existing in real life that would have friends. You like that? Bazinga. Yeah. Woo! Hot take though, Burned out was not one. Fuck Penny. She was now. I didn't like her voice. Very does. Yeah. Yeah. Sheldon's girlfriend was probably a freak in the sheets. Amy Farrah Fowler, yeah, probably. Yeah, they, they had to make up another person. So it would be impossible that Sheldon would be with somebody. Power fantasy. That's how it ends. It just got gross. Boop. When are you gonna get the spud gun? Way later. So you can shoot these guys. That's like. That might be during the jocks. So no, no. Twist his balls. You also get the firecracker shooter. Twist his nuts. Oh, there was also the theory that, um, which I thought would have been neat if it was real or, uh, they could have added, they could have, in the asylum part where when you have to go get the greaser guy. Mm hmm. They could have added uh, some manhunt stuff just as Easter eggs. Like, yeah, especially when you go through their uh, their uh, tenements, the apartment, the shitty like apartment building they're squatting in. Mm -hmm. They could definitely put manhunt shit in there. Did you used to hopscotch? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, not really. No, oh, well, you're a loser. My favorite thing was the swing sets. That's what I did. I busted the teeth out of my best friend's uh, mouth with the swing set. Because Kevin is just a raucous little man. We had a game called War, I think. It wasn't even really creative. And we would throw... We would sit on either end of a swing and then throw the middle swing at each other and whoever <laughs> every kid did that yeah I mean, well the metal where the seat is attached mm. to the plastic went up and smashed that his teeth in the, that's not like your fault it's like such the worst luck possible that it happened to just go up at the perfect angle and smash his teeth in yeah and uh he didn't rat I don't know why we did that he was a real one getting hit by that shit hurt <laughs> like why that was fun to do. Same with knuckles and hornets and ball tags. Very, very funny. We were invincible. My cousin and I used to just like go down, like just slide, like use different shit, just slide down the stairs, and then like my uncle's stairs just went straight into like this closet hell. thing, straight into hell. Basically, like you would go down, you just like, smack into something, and it's like, why are we doing this? Are you about to do the panty raid? Yeah. Our porn boys. store closed. I, I it did. For naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Which is weird because apparently it got business. No, I mean COVID. Yeah, something else would kill it. Which you would think it would like help. Fuel it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All we have now is sex. Because they probably were marked essential, so they closed and they couldn't handle being closed that long. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, that's it. If I ever go to a bathroom and a wiener comes out into my stall, I'm punching it. Yeah, I'm sitting there and you know those yeah, boxer like the things. Bag, you're just doing that with your dick. I thought it was annoying, like, just put a sock over it and stuff. My socks just like, yeah. Put a cigar cutter. Ah, God, why? No. <laughs> Jesus. Just the tip. Ah. Not like the full tip. I know, but still. 
They're just the okay. top, Could you top most toppest top layer. Being that guy and just feeling that against your dinner. Oh, oh god! <laughs> As, hey, don't move, because if you pull, I might accidentally squeeze. Kevin's turned into a fucking I just soft. want you to know, this is on you, bud. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll attach a, a chain to a, a bomb. Be like, you put your wiener in holes. That now it's time to put a hole in you. You decide. Huh? This is a do here. You pull your dick out and then it'll deactivate the bomb. Well, I had to go through a cigar cutter. A cheese grate. That cutter. almost sounds like something that could be in, so. I wouldn't doubt it. It would probably be someone like half deserving. I'm honestly surprised there hasn't been like a, a shitty Saw sequel where it's like the cult of Saul and uh, it's just a whole bunch of people coming up with shitty ideas. <laughs> just a bunch of dick Saw clones. Yeah. I am actually pretty uh, shocked that there is anything that really tried to copy Saw in, in a good way. Yeah. And not just be like, gore porn. That's what Saw was, right? <clears throat> Besides, like, Vile. I think Vile did it. I loved that yeah, movie. Vile's great. We just rewatched that, like, last, last year, I think. That was great. There are so many things. We should do a... Nah. I was gonna say a Let's Watch. This is where the ghost is. It's impossible to do it all just getting fucking struck. Unless you're just, like, we were reacting to every single minute that happens. Yeah, we cinema sends it, but, like, um... Good. So we don't do CinemaSins. <laughs> Comment down below if you actually like CinemaSins. A lot of people do. I am not among those ranks. I used to like them. Now I just I don't want to hear them ever again. Speaking yeah. about panties. Yeah. How do you feel about girls in boxers? Like the boxer short things? How do I feel? Like they make me horny? Yeah, do you like those? Like the Me, boy short yeah, undies? I didn't really do anything. I'd be like, cool. Because <laughs> my wiener will be like, keep doing what you're doing. Because I really like those undies on girls. Girls are kind of just cool. Whatever you do, keep doing it. Step on my balls. Now, I'm not, ah, damn it. I just got barely her light. No, I am not into that. I'm good on Cock and ball torture can fuck off. I don't get why you'd want that at all. No masochist name, I think it's like that's too far. Yeah, like those videos where the bitches with the high heels. I knew you were gonna bring that up. No, I got I hate you. And like the, the the balls are Stop. like tight against the floor, and they're like, I, I'm sitting there like thinking, where the fuck is this guy? Because it's just the balls. Mm. Is he hanging from the ceiling? Uh, they fucking do weird, like, uh, have them set up weird for that kind of shit, so probably. I think sometimes, like, spread even, like, your, like, scrotal skin and shit so they can get, like, the perfectly the testicle, and I'm like, stop jerking off for a month. If this is what gets you off, like, you need to just go be abstinent for, like, a year. So we can just go back to just, you know, maybe missionary can do it, alright? <sighs> Fuck, that is so fucking weird. And they're, like, really purple. Yeah, it's pretty cray cray. You know what? I love getting hernias for real, for real. <laughs> That's my shit. So the girls won't snitch for you stealing undies? Pretty privileged, Kevin. Huh? The kiss. Bitch, can you fuck off? Oh my god. Yeah, everyone online complains about this mission because of this lady. She's just really slow, and that's what makes it annoying. Like, once she's there, you just have to wait for her to fucking slowly mosey on out. Why did she turn around? Oh my god, I'm so sick of this. At least you get to keep the underwear. Yeah, I thank God this is just completely reset. That would suck ass. Mm. Er, I'm shitting your pants. I am going to shit yourself. Kevin.
Kevin, you dropped my wallet. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? You dropped your phone right there. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Kevin is currently balancing a water bottle on his head. Yes. It was a skill he learned up in the Appalachian Mountains with the, uh... Crude. Rude fighting dudes. Yeah, the crude, rude dudes fighting balloons. After hours. Does that mean you're gonna miss the panty ring? No, it just means I'm in the girl's dorm probably after a certain time. 11, I guess. Oh my god, this bitch. I hate her. I wish she was here. Well, I mean, she's ancient, so. And she's also not real, Kevin. Nah, she's god. real. See? Why are there just underwear in the bathroom? Because they're showering. They're not. Yeah, they are. They can't put girls showering in there, Kevin. It's like three different times of kind of type. Brr. Kinds of illegal. They don't have Get to- Get the fuck out of my way! They don't have to put the girls in there, but they could have, like, voice lines and shit. Oh, they're, they're, sometimes they'll say, like, oh, you're boobies. I don't know what they say. <laughs> they say something about tits. Oh, Shut wow. Tits. Boobies. <laughs> you- <t> Shut up! <laughs> they, like, what does they do say stuff? Bazongas. Because <laughs> one of the chicks comments on the other girls, like, boobies or something. I don't know. Is it a lesbian joke? Yeah. Is she into her? Uh, maybe, or maybe just the girls sometimes like each other's boobs. I don't know. What I did it. Thanks, Kevin. They should have a freak show. They do. It's at the carnival. The perfix. Perfix. Bro, I just want to be done with this mission. Can you stop making it irritating? You're just gonna watch him beat me up like this? Yeah, come on, man. I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this launch. Here's some money for your troubles. Thirty dollars. I just helped you commit a felony. Is that a felony? Well, if he gets caught with him. Nice work, Jimmy. Is it? Well, not Jimmy, but like if Bird gets caught with him. Hmm. I, did, I guess I never really just thought about stealing a teen's panties. Yeah, or the consequences thereof. <laughs> well, that means you're a good person, Kevin. I think. <laughs> never had to ponder that. Like that one uh, video where there's that uh, FBI agent or whatever he is, and he's going into that girl's room and smelling him, and he gets busted by the fucking. More people need in-house security and uh, dash cams for their cars. Agreed. Everyone needs cameras. I, I mean, I hate the idea of Big Brother being able to hack into your shit and watch what you're doing or whatever. But man, the shit that home security cameras catch is fucking crazy. Like, uh... What's his name? Rubber Band Man? Mm -hmm. Or whatever? When his uh, mansion was getting raided? No, uh... Afro, Afro Man. Afro Man. Or that uh, previous mentioned FBI agent? The Afro Man thing. I think that should be. That's like the biggest. Yeah, you should, uh... Everyone should have cameras and shit. Because that, that probably saved that case. Do you remember that episode of Family Guy where, uh... Peter's trying to save this old science teacher. Biology boy. I vaguely. Sam. That's one that's not on a lot. It was not. But I bought a DVD way back when. I think it's season one. Yeah, it's an older one. Season one or season two. Uh, and uh, it was one of those was volume whatever it was one of the episodes so I watched it a shit ton when I was younger I think it came from family video 
Oh. It was like three dollars. Family video. Video safari dog. They all those had no plan for when that shit became obsolete. They're like, well, we're fucked. Close the doors. Well, Blockbuster had the chance to jump they, on the. They deserve the closing. <laughs> they the, were like, nope. On the Netflix. I mean, like Toys R Us both. Like they were just like, nope, we're not gonna acclimate. But then side. Toys R Us come back. A little. I think it's they just kind of make shit now. Like they're like just a manufacturer. Who? Oh. <sighs> Don't believe you. Yeah, but like that Blockbuster earned their downfalls 100%. Most Toys R Us is the deal. I forgive. I remember they were also like, nope, we're not changing shit. And like, like all their marketing people and stuff were like, bro, we gotta, we gotta get with the times. Because there was something they just didn't want to sell. I can't remember what it was. Legos? Like, like newer kind of toys and shit that they didn't want to. You're not on the Vespa. I have to go to the garage. It's. A, how come sometimes it stays at the fucking. Does it go back to the garage when, every day? When I, yeah, I was about to okay. say. I think when I go to sleep, it despawns. Whoa, fifteen dollars for a freaking haircut? It's an expensive place, Kuban. Um, nah, it's like a normal haircut. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Either. I don't get my haircut. I hadn't got my haircut in a while, but last time I did, it was only like ten bucks. Men haircuts are cheap. All right. <laughs> I had no idea. So cool. That's great. My men haircuts were cheap. I just grow my hair out or shave it. So. Haircuts are for the weak normals, I think. <laughs> it's normal people. I'll get my hair trimmed so like the dead ends are off and I can grow it out longer. But do you style your pubes? Uh, yeah, I bleach them. Yeah, you do. The blonde pubes. What'd you do if I just reached out? I was and I... about to say, send me a picture of just your pubes. Nothing else, and I'm gonna put it in the video. And you're gonna have to prove That's it. illegal. To put pubes? Yeah. But there's no dick or anything, why not? I don't know, it's, it's, it's puberty. Fine. What the fuck? Shut up! <laughs> it's puberty! You're a fucking man! Yeah, but we have uh, children audience members. It's just pubes! It's like the same as your beard hair. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Kevin is just ashamed of his bleach bomb pubes. It's okay, no one's judging you here. Aqua Brigade Queen. Uh, Aqua Brigade. I preferred Aqua Brigade Queen. Aqua Brigade. How about the booby? The number one contender. Looking sharp. You just wedgied, you just wedgied him. him. I did. I gave him a wedgie that he'll never forget. But it didn't humiliate him, so he's beating your ass. Yeah. I didn't name Biff. What a fucking stupid name. That is a very stupid name. And, it, and you should feel bad. You're one of the fucking biggest losers in the fucking. Place. What did your mom fucking love? Back to the Future too. I just joke around. That's probably the only way, because I don't think anybody loved Death of a Salesman enough to name their kid Biff. Wasn't that a book we had to read? Uh, it was, one the, it was one of the books. I think it was one of those things where you could read like a choice of books. And that was one of them. Was that the one where the guy uh, typewrites and then he's like on the ledge of his building or something? I'm gonna be honest, I haven't read that shit in years. It's more sure. That's where Biff's a loser in it, and I think he ends up killing himself or something. Death of a salesman. What is your fate? Uh, I'm having a stroke. What's your free date? I don't know. What's your favorite reading criteria? I think too fast for my words to come out. Mm. That you had to read during school. <sighs> Fucking Maniac McGee. Is that an actual book? Yes. I don't remember that. We read it in like third, fourth, third or fourth grade. 
and then I proceeded to use it for my book projects for the next like six years. Anytime a team list teacher asked, like, oh, do this on a book you like, I would just do Maniac McGee because I had that shit memorized. Oh my god. I don't know why. I liked it. I didn't think it was a good book, but it's just like I became just hyper fixed. Like, I've read that probably 30 times all the way through. I had that shit memorized. Uh, I'd have to say mine was. I don't know. I can't really think of didn't like the Odyssey. You read that? Yeah. I fucking read that. I don't remember. But I had to read it. Did you not? I don't think so. I don't remember reading that shit. Is that all the Greek one? I had to read that. I didn't have to read that. Yeah, no, I have no idea. Uh, I didn't like... Handmaiden's Tale or Children of Men. I feel like the intro's going on what's happening here. You gotta go shoot the shit. I know, but like, I can't get upstairs. I don't know what's happening. Well, you're too powerful. Yeah, I'm the stuck game, here. The game had to stop you somehow. I think the game might have booked out. I haven't saved in forever. Is this the death of Bully? No, because I can just pass out and fail the mission. Uh oh. Death of a bachelor! Whoa! I don't want all. He made out with uh, someone he shouldn't have. Yes. He's a big fan of the N word. Huh? He's a big fan of the N word. Is he? Yes. Oh. He's, he's been caught saying it a lot, and he doesn't really apologize. He just goes, oopsie, then does it again. Hmm. The more you... Hey. The more you know. Figure it out. And, yeah. Brendan Neary is not a good guy. Also, everyone who wrote for Panic left, and that's why the shit went to shit. Because he can't write worth a dick. Well, you're telling me he didn't write his own songs? No. I don't huh. think the lyrics, but that was it. Dallin Weeks and Ryan Ross, or Spencer Ross? I forget his name. He's the one who wrote everything. I just assumed everyone but the Gorillas wrote their own songs, but that's the only reason why I excluded the Gorillas is because everyone is Gorillas. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the reason why Vices and Virtues were about Mona Lisa looks and like. Like the aesthetic is the way it is and it sounds the way it does is really because of down leaks, like 100%. Hmm. This is supposed to be a boss battle? Um. I'll answer that. I guess there is a health bar. Huh. Why is this a weapon you can continue to use? Um, because it makes people stay in place. That sounds very useful. Man, they fixed that house already. Yeah, man. Rich people, they 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 know they know a couple guys. They on it. Yeah. You are on maximum. That looks like Red Foreman. It does. I don't like the way you said that also. I'm sorry. It's Red Foreman. So I said four man. Stop. You know you're not saying it the same way I am. <laughs> don't you dare. Fucking Stewie. Me. That's what you get. <laughs> am I wrong though? Four man? Yes, you say it like a fucking AI. It's Foreman. Foreman. Stop it! <laughs> You don't say Robert, no. Are you about to say my last name wrong? No. Um. The guy who does March of the Penguins. Robert Paulson? No. No. Don't know why I said that. Is it Robert Freeman? Uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Uh, you don't say Morgan Freeman. 
then why are you saying four man? You do say three man. It's Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Freeman. Yeah, not free man. That's what I'm saying. You're saying four red four man. Red four man. It's red foreman like Morgan Freeman. You say foreman. No, it's an A. What? <laughs> it's just doing anything. It's man. It doesn't matter. It's not M E N. It's M A N. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It's I'm four sorry. men. You just say men, not four men, not four man, four men. No. Are you helping a teenager? Nice. Dog's on, so fucking bored with his life. Fucking Markiplier needs to find spare shit to do. Markiplier? That's what you look like. Uh oh. I thought you were just making fun of him because of that shitty movie he's trying to make. <laughs> no. I mean, that is. Oh, God. Of all the good horror games he has played in his life. You know. Let's pick the most boring fucking one to base a movie on. Uh. Go to my GoFundMe so we can make, uh. Not my neighbor, the movie. Kevin. This is what Markiplier did. Shut up. No, what we need to make a movie of is, um... Secret Neighbor? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking... You know how good they were? They had a beg Matt Pat to continue to make videos on him. Legit. Uh, fuck. I'm trying to think of a really shitty game we played. Uh... <laughs> that's not Prism? Yeah, that's a horror game. Uh, oh, Dread yeah. Out. <laughs> Make a movie of Dread Out was good. It just played bad. Yeah, it had it had good bones. It had it had good but bones. But it had skin cancer. It had the lovely bones. Yes. Hey. Let's make Lovely Bones the video game. Oh, we're not done. Oopsie. Is that based on a true story? Lovely Bones? Yeah. I think Irby was influenced by one or the other. Hmm, now I kind of feel bad for making fun of it. Ha! You're a bad person. Go to hell.